Hi Virgos, welcome back to the channel guys. We are doing a ghosted, blocked, ignored reading. Yes we are. We're using the new deck, message deck, the ghosted deck. So yeah. Mm. I've done pre-shuffled a stack for us. We're using the Cosmic Tarot as our clarifier deck in case we need it. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Sometimes your moon, Venus, or rising will resonate. I also put out the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up your energy there. I'm pulling your energy, their energy, the energy between you. But just know we are doing it from their perspective. From their perspective, how they were perceiving things, how they are perceiving things. Uh... So, just so you'll know, when I pull your energy and you go, that's not me, she is. <laughs> I'll be like, tell it to that person. Because they're telling us their perception of what they perceive. Ooh, let's go ahead and get started. My Virgos. Oh, who could possibly ever want to ghost a Virgo? I mean, no, don't do it. Your energy from their perspective. Six of Wings. Passage. This is a Six of Sword. Oh, I like this. My Virgo. If it's going to resonate with you, that's an indication that you are moving away from some stormy stuff. That you are actually progressing forward. And taking that rite of passage into something new in your life. You're putting your past behind you. That kind of thing. <clears throat> so, yeah, I love that. That is moving forward. It's a feel good. I just got chills up my arm, so I know I pinged it right from my Virgo right there. Energy between us from their perspective was a five of gems. Anxiety. Five of gems like mentality is five of pentacles in regular tarot. So, there's a uh, like mentality. The anxiety. Ooh. Okay, let me see their energy. Ooh, Pisces, moon energy, the moon, fear, wow, and it's, wow, oh, they're sitting down, they're sitting down in it, they're sitting down in it, oh, the images, that, that's the first thing, guys, I'm, I'm, they've sit down in their fear, they're sitting down in a pattern, they're going over, um, hurt, trauma, Stress, anxiety, they're, they're sitting down in a story and they're refusing to let go of it. They're sitting down in some pain and they don't want to let go of it. Where you're up moving, you are moving, moving away from stormy, crappy, negative shivas, shifts, y'all. This person is sitting down in it. Mm. Right there is telling me uh, that the five of gems, what they're trying to say with that is... On an emotional level, you you trigger you you trigger you triggered them big time, big time, and made them feel how did, how how do I want to put it, y'all? It's not just anxiety. You made them feel like they were they they were stuck, like um, small. I don't know how else to put it. Like they weren't making progress with. Moving into their future. Because like I said, I see them sitting down in something. Hanging on to something. That moon's also a cycle that keeps cycling back through the same story. Over and over and over in their head. Y'all know I'm avoiding saying it. They're stuck in victim mentality. I don't know how else to put it. I hate saying it that way, but that's the way it's coming across. Let's see the undercurrent energy. This is still from their perspective. It's what their gut instincts tell tells them about your energy, the energy between you and their own energy. Let's see what we've got. On you, we've got two, two cards. Magical moment. <laughs> Magical moment. Magical is what's popped. Magical. Let's see the jumper. Healing wounds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That confirms for me. We're healing. We're moving away from crappy stuff. We're not, but the difference, this person's healing also. The difference is we're moving in, in the healing process. This person is refusing to get up and move. And that's what's trigger, what was triggering them. They were seeing you ready to move into your life feeling more confident feeling more better bringing in a lighter energy and it's probably what drew them to you in the first place 
but they're not ready. They're still sitting down in it. They're not ready to let go of it. They're holding on and nursing them wounds, licking their wounds, and they don't want to get up from it yet. Energy between us, undercurrent, remorse and regret. Yeah, they were being triggered. <laughs> yeah. Their undercurrent energy, you deserve better. You deserve better. Oh, yeah. Am I... Like I said, it was making them feel small, like they were lacking, lack mentality of you're moving, you're doing a lot better than they are in the process, and they, they're not ready. They're not ready to move forward and let go. Mm, I just heard they need more of a best friend than they need a lover or in a relationship. They need a best friend, and they would have to be cautious with that, too, because they were, they're wanting to go back over, tell the same story over and over and over. They're sitting down in it. This person don't even need to be journaling. If they are journaling, they need to read back over their journal because they're writing the same thing over and over and over, keeping a storyline going to keep them in that hurt, in that pain. They, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. If you, Virgos, if you journal every day, make sure you're going back at the end of the week, rereading what you're writing. Make sure you're not telling yourself the same pitiful, uh, disempowering story over and over. Make sure you're you're coming up with a new storyline of looking to the future with the hope, with the confidence of, ooh, we got this. And these cards right here tell me you're doing that. They're, they weren't ready to do that, but the fact that you're healing, that you got a bold, brave, I'm going forward energy, that's what drew them to you to begin with. The hurt, the, the hurt, I've been hurt, is what connected it. But you're moving way quicker than, and this person is like sitting down, I'm not ready to move out of it yet. Going back across these energies on your magical moment and healing wounds abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss yeah yeah that's not an attitude this person can have energy between us on that remorse and regret engagement engagement partnership uh commitment eternity completion and union completion completion pot this person is not ready to move forward mm hmm their energy, we got two on that. You deserve, you deserve better. We got keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So what really popped is you deserve better and you have many options available to you where I don't. Because they're in like mentality, licking the wounds of, I don't have this. I can, I, everybody else gets to have these things i'm not allowed to that kind of thing they're keeping their self sitting in that uh, lack mentality that hurt the jumper with that the butterfly relationship in evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and in growth healing the inner child and in growth is what's popped they are going through a they need to go through and in divine <laughs> divine um Time and divine purpose was to bring you together to trigger this person to get them off their butt and get them moving because you're moving. It was to show them, to trigger them um, into seeing how somebody can get up, brush their self off, and move forward in their life and not sit down and wallow and die in the challenges uh, that we experience in life. This person is sitting in it. So, yeah. Mm. Let's come back over here on your energy from their perspective. Ten of wings, ten of swords, difficulty. Ooh, but look at all your attitude here. I'm moving past those difficulties. That ten of swords is a card of ending. And it is a card of getting up, brushing yourself off, and moving forward with your life and not taking any of the negative poo-poo doo-doo with you. It's I've learned my lesson. I'm going forward wise now. Yeah, and you don't take anything that that brought you to that Ten of Swords uh, with you in, into your future. Energy between us from their perspective, the magician energy. Ooh, they loved your energy. Loved this energy on you. Mm -hmm. That's what triggered it. Their energy. Seven of shells, seven of cups, illusions, illusions, uh, being stuck. Seven of cups sometimes will have you stuck in that stuck mentality. I don't know what to do. 
says, let me just sit down and not choose to do anything. I don't I don't know what to do. Back on yours, we've got nine of shells, a fulfillment. Yes, yes. You're brushing brushing yourself off, moving forward, not laying laying down, dying in in your pain. You're getting up and moving forward. You you're actually doing a healing process. Mm. This person, like I said, no. Mm -mm. Between us, the magician, they loved your energy. Ace of Gems reward. Oh, that's the Ace of Pentacles. You actually sowed a seed. It was a very magical, divinely timed uh, connection, uh, interaction that went between you because it was meant to be to sow that seed to get this person off their butt into the energy of get up and move forward. Quit putting your life on hold. Quit sitting down, licking your wounds. Get up. And move. Mm. But it's also uh, when we come away from the divine's message on this, from the energy between us, your person may have seen you as you were focused in more in on uh, your own life circumstances and things like that instead of wanting you want to sit down with them and go over every day, every, everything, every trauma they ever been through and let the wing with them. So yeah, you're you would be more in a positive mindset, and you may have been triggering them as they wanting to reminisce and go back over things, wanting you to hear their their trauma story every time you talk to them or communicate with them. You might have been like, well, well, what are you gonna do now? Well, what did you learn from it? Can, well, let's get a you know. What can you do now? Move forward. That kind of you probably triggered them because they don't want to move forward. They're, they seem to have built a habit. Habit moon cycle of getting up every day and refreshing the whoa whoa me story that keeps them stuck. The, their energy on that seven of shells, seven of cups. Oh, star card healing the emotional cleansing of Aquarius energy. Hope for the future. Going yeah, going trying to find their north star and follow it, but. They're they're stuck right now, overwhelmed by that right now. Having to clear out some emotional, the emotions. Most of the time, the traditional uh, star card, they're in the water. It's an emotional healing and cleansing. Yeah, find your north star. Yeah, cleanse it out so that you can hear your intuition, get past the hurts and stuff, and move forward. It's the healing card. A cleansing, a wash, a purification of your emotions. Let's go ahead and get the uh, desires. We're using romance, angel oracles. The desires your person were, was perceiving that you had for the connection. Uh, yeah, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. That This person saw you as more concerned and more, not, I don't want to say concerned, it's more like Motivated, motivated would be a good word. Motivated towards uh, that area of your life, taking care of yourself, getting things uh, straightened out and coming away from any hurt and any vulnerability that you might have experienced from uh, whatever you were moving away from. Next one, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yes, yes, yes. That's your energy. That's what initially attracted them to you. They want that energy. They're not, but they're not getting up going in that energy. It makes them uncomfortable. It triggers them. Because they got to do that healing, on, you know, and growth. Energy between us that they perceived. The desires between them. Why is it reversed? We'll take it reversed. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing is what's popped. Any of the rest of it, if your intuition says, oh, yeah, <laughs> having to you know, forgive parents, stuff like that, go with your intuition over mine because I'm reading for a, a big group of people here because healing is what popped. And it's reversed. I'm going to leave it reversed because this person wants healing, but they're not ready to take the action that it requires to do it. And you're already taking the action. Still between us, uh, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Woo, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Their energy, their desires. We've got flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. They are desiring that lighthearted, stress-free. I'm not a victim energy. Let's play and have fun and quit taking life so freaking serious. That's what they were wanting. But it's hard for them. They've done habitually habit drove themselves into refreshing a horrible story where there's no lighthearted energy. They're taking everything serious. Next one, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's what initial that's their desire. That's what they want, but they got to break their habit. Their habit. And you've already you you are the example of not being in that habit, breaking that habit, getting up, taking action. You're the energy that they wanted, but it triggered them. It triggered them big time. And it's almost because they're unwilling and they're being stubborn and wanting to stay in it, getting overwhelmed, sit down, let's lick my wounds. Uh, they feel like you're out of alignment and that uh, you're way far going after things that they're not going after. You're motivated and inspired to move forward where they want to be, but they're not to the point of doing it yet. Let's see their intentions towards us. Let me get the cards here. Okay. We're using heaven and earth tarot. Uh, intentions towards us right now. Princess of Wands. Princess. Woo. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm, there's a princess's page. Uh, they're standing in no confidence, a uh, lack of motivation right now. Also, the fire. They they need the. How, how do I put it? That fire is what fuels us to get up and take action. This person is stalling on taking action because they're standing in that youthful page energy, feeling unconfident. Ruin. Ten of Swords. Ooh, you got the Ten of Swords on your energy. That's what they seen was in common with you both. Mm -hmm. What else? Queen of Wands. Oh, I like that. <laughs> queen of Wands. That's Aries energy. Our Queen, she knows how to direct the energy. She knows how to fuel and motivate herself and also motivate other people. Inspire them and get them into action. Then we have Strife, uh, Five of Wands. We got a lot of fire in here. And, oh, y'all hear me pop my lips. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got the High Priestess. Oh, your person has no intentions towards you right now. They don't. They don't have any intentions because they're standing here like, I don't know what to do. You inspire me, but I don't want to move past. I, I want to keep licking my wounds. Where you're up moving past your wounds, um, that would be a representation of you. Your t the two of your energies, if you put them together and compared it, you're moving. You're taking action. They're not. They're not confident enough yet. So yeah, there's no intention towards you though in these cards. It's telling me that their higher self is trying to guide them. The moon, the high priestess, same energy here. Um, they're being guided through the chaos of, of what they're doing and to break a habit. Yeah, they have no real intentions towards you. Their higher self is telling us that they are, you know, their guides, their higher self is working with them. The divine is working with them to get them to get up and get moving, get in that optimistic energy and take some action. And that's the reason that you are uh, clicked together for a moment, a moment. Yeah, I don't see it as it was ever meant to be anything more than uh, the influence of your energy on this person to trigger them into some uncomfortableness to get up and move. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get the messages. New deck, the ghosted, and we're using all things intuitive shadows. This is the, this person talking solely. It's not a conversation with us. It's them talking, not allowing us to talk. Confession. I've come to hate internet dating. I'm not doing it anymore. You can, if, if you can take off internet, I, I come to hate dating. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Confession, I've been too ashamed 
to get in contact all this time? Would you even want to hear from me? Would you even want to hear from me? I realized I just wasn't ready to be in another relationship. I need time to heal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There we go. Over here, their higher self telling us a little bit. Maybe they are moving into their healing. Getting up. Breaking a habit. Confession, I was drunk. <laughs> Virgo. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, my God. Virgo. Mm -mm -mm. They were drunk. They don't know what they were thinking. Confession, there was no good conversational way to end it. I am sorry. Yeah. Red flag conversations with you were triggering old emotional traumas for me. I needed to run as far away from that as I could. Yeah. Yeah. Red flag, too much too soon freaked, freaked me out. Yeah. Too much too soon was your energy... They, it's like, they would, if it was going to click, they would get up and they would follow your energy. They would get into that energy with you and move their self forward. It would, it, that freaked them out. They, they're not ready for that. They want, they want more of a BBF that they can call up and message every day and tell the same thing over and over. The same woe me story, how I was done wrong, how the universe is working against me kind of thing. That's what they're wanting. And the cards are showing me that's what, that's not what my burgers are doing. Mm -mm, that's not what we're into. Mm -mm. Confession. I think you're perfect and that terrifies me. I am, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Perfect in what? And in, in what healing, moving forward, life, motivation, that kind of thing. Everything they would like for themselves. Next round. I've come to hate inter internet dating. I'm not doing it again. I never want to feel that way again. Mm -hmm. I've been too ashamed to get in touch or get in contact all this time. I'm different now. Yeah. Experiencing your... Positive energy is it really triggered and hopefully it triggered hard to get them up and get them moving. I realized I just wasn't ready to be in another relationship. I understand you better now. Seeing why you're so motivated and, and I want that. I was drunk. I don't know what I was thinking. I want to tell you so much. I want to, oh my goodness. I want to, did they, did they call you up drunk? <laughs> It'd be like the next one. I don't know what I was thinking. Confession. There was no good conversational way to end it. I wish you would come back. I wish you would come back. Oh. But just know that they would wish you would come back and probably sit back down in it. Let me lick my wounds energy with them instead of, because like I said, I'm picking it up more as it was uh, temporary. Temporary. Mm -hmm. You were just there for a moment. <laughs> the divine needed you to be there just for the moment. Conversations with you are triggering old emotional traumas. I know we have a soul connection. Mm -hmm. Too much too soon freaked me out. I focused on you instead of my pain. Mm -hmm. I think you're perfect and that terrifies me. I know I made a mistake. I know I made a mistake. Okay, my Virgos, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.